Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to tweak settings of Death Stranding on an iOS device. So Death Stranding is coming out for the iPhone iPad, and unfortunately there are no graphical settings. But today I'm going to show you how to tweak some of these settings and turn off some things like motion blur, change the custom resolution, we can do things like disable anti-aliasing, and then uncap the frame rate as well. And I'll show you how to do all of that today using a Mac. So my inspiration for this came from the fact that we can run Death Stranding on a Mac and we can generate a settings.cfg and this can actually be ported to the iPhone. So if you run Death Stranding on your Mac and you go to your library containers Death Stranding folder, you're going to find a settings.cfg which you can edit with a text file by control clicking and then text edit. And this contains all of the settings that you can run on your Mac. And this is going to be vastly different than your iPhone. So for example here, this is a 4K resolution, which is way too high for an iPhone. We have the ability to turn on HDR, which I tried on my iPhone, but did not successfully have working. But some of these other settings seem to actually work. So for example, post-processing DOF, the of the field, motion blur, we can appear to turn off. We could also appear to change the metal effects quality and also remove the frame rate limit. It's a bit hard to tell exactly because the iPhone 15 is currently limited by frames, I would say, but it seems like an interesting experiment. So what I've done is I've made a copy of the settings.cfg and basically I'm going to edit it here and I've edited some settings to test out. So for example, I've changed the render resolution to like a 720p resolution, which is much smaller. I've changed HDR to zero. I've also changed um, some of the quality settings. So there should be Metal FX Spatial Performance Mode. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, it's a starting point for testing things out. Anti-aliasing 2, that should correspond to no anti-aliasing at all. And uh, we should have LOD scale set to zero. These are all experimental things that I've been testing out on my iPhone. I hope that somebody will actually come up with a comprehensive tweak to this so that we can actually get better clarity and performance on your iPhone. So basically, uh, I've made a copy by just drag dropping and then holding down the option key to make a copy. And then what I've done here is I have put this on my desktop here. In theory as well, you could also just go to text edit and then you could just create a new file. And uh, when you save it, you could save as a settings.cfg and then just rename the file format from rich text RTF to CFG. And then we're going to move on to the next step to copy it to the phone. So basically, we've made a copy of settings.cfg. We've customized it a little bit. Uh, we're not exactly sure what the best settings are. I hope somebody's going to tell me in the future what this is. And then basically, we attach the phone to our computer. So, so basically, what I'm doing here is just plugging in a wire. It can be USB-C. It can be lightning cable. doesn't matter as long as it's plugged into the computer. And then within Finder, you can see on the left here, we have an iPhone attached. Then we go to Files. And then we find our Death Stranding Director's Cut. Expand this. And then basically, we want to put the settings.cfg inside that folder here. So just go ahead and put that there. And that's the settings.cfg. So in the future as well, if you want to remove this, just right click and control click and delete, and that will reset all of the settings in the future. So we don't need that anymore. Then on the iPhone itself, I'm going to make sure that Death Stranding is completely closed before we restart it. And then we're going to start up Death Stranding on the phone. And we're going to want a controller paired beforehand as well. So you want to be using a controller for reasons you're going to see in a moment. So sometimes when you change the resolution of the game, uh, all of the touch settings are going to be all messed up. You won't be able to interact. So uh, you'll want a, a controller because basically you can see here the controls have shifted to the right. But if you use other resolutions, they'll be bunched up. You can't go into the game without it. So uh, to fix that, just go to options. And then we're going to go to virtual controller settings and then press Y or the top button here to reset this. And then it should bunch up correctly on the screen. Uh, and then we're going to save this setting and then we're going to load up a game. So, I mean, the first thing you're going to notice is that there are black bars on the side, whereas in the previous version of the game, this is uh, has rendering all around the edges. So it's got a different aspect ratio now. So I tried to set this at 16 by 9. I think it's actually wider than that here. It's stretched a bit. Uh, I've purposely left the OBS uh, screen here so that you can see a white border around the screen which is the 16 by 9 capture. So you can kind of tell that this is the wrong aspect ratio. So I'm just going to load up my save. And uh, you can see the black bars on the left and the right, which is different from the original. And also the in-game settings look different too. So you can see here 
Um, I feel like the frame rate is faster. I'm not 100% sure without the Metal HUD. You can only enable Metal HUD with um, non-App Store uh, games, so I'm not actually able to test this 100% correctly, but it does feel like the frame rate is different. So, um, and I think I've turned off uh, motion blur. So if I put this to the right like this, my stick, I don't have that same motion blur feeling from before, which is gonna make a lot of people very happy because some people just hate motion blur and you couldn't turn it off on the iPhone. And uh, what I've, I'm just gonna go a bit slower as well. You can see it in a bit more kind of a clarity. Doesn't seem to be any more motion blur. And uh, the graphics feel different. So I'm not sure if it's better or faster but it has been tweaked for sure. So something has changed and uh, not 100% sure what it is, but uh, something feels different. It feels like the frame rate's higher and it feels like the resolution's lower. And personally, I feel like this is a better way to play the game. So it's very interesting to hear what people think of this particular way of playing Death Stranding on an iPhone. You might even have better performance if you run this on an iPad M1 or M2, for example and you'll be able to tweak it even further. So it just depends on what your situation is like. Now, I hope you find this video useful. I hope somebody develops some kind of tweak guide so that custom settings can be implemented on the iPhone and uh, make the quality of life issues a little bit better because I found the original rendering very, very blurry. Now, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.